There are fewer than 24 hours left of this legislative session, and the proposed $7.6 billion budget still has not been finalized. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live this evening at the Roundhouse with where the budget stands right now. Rachel. Dean, about two hours ago, senators passed a version of the budget that was different than what the House had sent over. So now it's a race against the clock to see if the House approves this new budget. Some of the action that we had to take on the Senate Finance Committee was to restore our reserves uh, on the operational reserve side. Uh, it was in the negative. Uh, we did that by trimming some highway and uh, P3 funding. The lion's share of the budget would go towards public education and makes room for the governor's $320 million trust fund for early childhood programs. Right off the bat, senators tried to tweak the budget, fighting over the additional money that's been added to the rainy day fund as well as state employee salaries. But the biggest battle was over the opportunity scholarship, which would help fund a portion of college tuition and fees for two-year programs. So basically we're creating opportunity scholarship, but only for some. And so we're creating an opportunity to become a philosopher or a doctor. What about creating an uh, opportunity for a welder or a truck driver or an aviation mechanic or some of these other things that we desperately need in this state? The budget would also funnel more than a billion towards health and human services, but cut additional money for roads. I've been told the House will hear the budget on the floor tonight, and if they don't agree with the changes and with the deadline just coming around the corner, uh, we could go into a special session. Back to you. All right, Rachel, thank you. Now, that budget calls for $500 million in new spending, all of it thanks to the oil boom in the South.